All right, it's Friday, 10, 25, 2019. Uh, went to a couple of uh, garage sales today and an estate sale. The garage sales were duds, nothing. One was just complete garbage. Um, there was nothing there. The other one was a reseller that I recognized and uh, she had a bunch of stuff out and I just knew that she already had gone through everything so there's really nothing of value that she's gonna be selling at a garage sale. Uh, I looked at a couple of things and I didn't feel like it was worth, worth uh, buying. Uh, so whenever you see a reseller that's doing a garage sale, um, you know, they're kind of just unloading stuff that's not able to sell or they're not able to sell. So I just kind of walked away from that one. Then I went to an estate sale and I picked up a few things for $10. Uh, I went to the Salvation Army, I believe it is, um, and uh, picked up some things I'll show you. And then I'm going to show you a couple things that uh, sold today. I did sell a Star Wars figure yesterday for $170 and I'll put a picture up uh, in this video of that. Like I said, you could always go to my eBay store, look at my listings, look at my sold items and you can see what sells and what doesn't and uh, what's for sale. So um, still looking for subscribers, click like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Uh, I've been doing this for a few videos now and uh, <clears throat> I enjoy doing it. I enjoy reselling. I do it part time. I'm retired, so uh, I have a lot of time on my hands, and uh, this is what I do on my spare time. So let me show you what I sold. Okay, three sales today that'll be going out. I'll be, sh I'll be shipping out, packaging them up. First thing is this decorative knife. I had it listed for 20 bucks and I took a best offer of 15. It has the sheath. So it's a metal. Um, so I took a best offer of $15 on that. This was a good sale here. This is a 1966 Vietnam era uh, yearbook from a ship, USS Henrico. And had this listed for a while and uh, ended up getting $69.99 for this and uh, that's what I had it listed for I think I lowered the price one time I had it for $69.99 somebody purchased it yesterday and uh, I'll be shipping it out today so good pickup I think I have a couple dollars into this maybe at an estate sale these are these replica dime store uh, plastic cars. So you got a taxi, a tow truck, an ambulance, army ambulance, and a house trailer. I had a lot of these up. This is my last batch. I had uh, several batches. This is my last one. I got $25 for this batch. And I picked this up in a lot of uh, military stuff that I'm way over in. Uh, with the profit zone so this is pure profit for me here and this is the last batch of these I think I had four or five batches and I sold them all for 25 bucks um, a lot so all these three items going out today be shipping those out packaging them up shipping them out and so then at the Goodwill Salvation Army picked up this stuff here uh, let me go through it here so the first thing up is this steampunk tarot card game sealed in the package look this up these are going for about 20 bucks um, $3.99 paid $3.99 on that um, I thought these were interesting here these are uh, decanters they look like they're brand new and it's marked on the bottom Vermont, you can see that, Vermont, they're heavy glass with this leather case. And the price was $5.99, but I had a 25% off, so I got it for a little less, maybe like four bucks, four something. Uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, picked up this 
Niagara Falls Starbucks coffee cup, $2.99. A couple years ago, my wife and I went to Niagara Falls and she actually bought one of these at Starbucks for, uh, I wanna say anywhere between 15 and $20. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. I'll look it up and see if it has any value. Picked up this little glass, 49ers. I like the 49ers. It's a dollar 89. Uh, I might keep that one for myself. We'll see. I picked up a Yardo. If you can see, that was 299. And it is a Yardo made in Spain. And uh, they had it in the brick and back brack section. I don't see any chips on this thing. So, uh, look this up real quick. I think this can go for $25, $30. So, we'll see. We'll see. Um, whoa, don't want to chip it. So, this is a game. Picked this up for $2.99. I thought it was kind of interesting. They call it the table topic game. It's in a hard plastic enclosure with a bunch of cards I guess you flip the cards over and you're able to talk about stuff is torture ever justified that's one of the topics there uh, I thought this is pretty cool we'll look this up see what it goes for not sure pick this little uh, Star Wars it's electronic I'll have to change the batteries on it uh, I paid a dollar ninety eight I just enjoy Star Wars stuff, although this is newer. I think it's like 20, 2015. What is it? Uh, I don't see a date on it. Oh, here it is. Anyways, I kind of like Star Wars stuff, but I'll see what it goes for if it sells. It's supposed to make some sounds, I believe. And then I picked up these two little plushes. They're, uh, they were at 189 each. It's Rue from Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. And the reason I got these were they had an old Disney Land, Walt Disney World tag. And I think Rue is the more um, rarer one. And I think this one alone can go for uh, 20 bucks or so. Piglet is more common. It has the old tag. Um, but I'll probably lot these up together and see uh, if I can get 25 bucks for them. The estate sale I went today, spent 10 bucks. Got this uh, St. Louis Cardinals sweater. I know baseball season's winding down with the World Series going on. But uh, this has the tags. The original price was $46.99. And it's got uh, the National League patch on the sleeve. It's very clean. Um, so yeah, I picked that up. I'll get it listed. See if anybody wants this for Christmas. I picked up these car model magazines. And um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Uh, March 1970, March 1966, 1965, 1970, uh, 1970, and 1965. Some are in better shape than others. But I looked these up real quick and I saw that a lot of them, I think a lot of five sold for 30 bucks. So she charged me three bucks for, for all of these. So the shirt or the sweater was five, three, that was eight. And then she charged me two bucks for this vintage Nike shirt. That is pretty cool. Although the size tag is missing. Um, I thought that was a pretty cool shirt. So yeah, that's it. That's all I got for today, for Friday. May go out tomorrow, not sure. Um, 
like, subscribe, and uh, we'll keep these videos coming. All right? Stuff Seller Out. Have a great day.